Kayla and for our senior design project we did free stride across the spikes. I'm Mitch Lovell. I'm Amara Bojra. And I'm Shane Flingenfield. <laughs> Alright, now basically what we did with this project here is we wanted to just make a completely brand new product and everybody loves salsa, so we decided to make salsa and this is actually a bit of our product. Obviously it looks pretty weird, but I'll explain why we did that in the first place. So we decided to start with just a brand new salsa recipe. We bring it in and we decided to make a spice out of it. So what we have to do to do that is basically send it, we decided to use a freeze dryer so it would still keep a lot of the flavor intact and all that. So basically what it does is it takes a ton of the water out. We probably took about 60% weight out of this thing. Um, our process, we lose almost half in just water alone. And we just basically run it through the process and we mix it, we chop it, we freeze it, and then we dry it. And then we're, We've got this part of our process right here, and it's not completely done. What we would do is we would grind this up, and then hopefully we would be able to um, sell this as just a spice on our, like you can see in the store, just normal consumer can buy, or we can even sell this to people who make authentic tortilla chips, and they can put this straight into the dough. So that's what we plan to do with it. Um, at one point we decided to see what we could save in energy and all that stuff, and in our batch it's about 2,500 pounds, and we're going to take about 1,200 pounds of water from it, and we're going to remove this from the freeze dryer, and we're just going to hold it in a tank, and um, at one point we have to disable the enzyme before we even start the process, so that's what we're going to use the water for. And then uh, you can imagine when you're making salsa, if you make fresh salsa, you're chopping up tomatoes and onions and all that stuff. So you're going to have a uh, decent amount of waste. So we decided to compost that. That way we can sell that soil product afterwards for a little more extra money and uh, saving some energy and not being able to save some cost and get rid of the waste. What aspect of the project was the most challenging to figure out how to make it work correctly for your application? The, the first thing is uh, trying to estimate the freezing point of the product because you have to freeze it before you even put it in the freeze dryer. So, and because our process has so many, has at least like ten different ingredients coming into it, you have to count for all that and try to calculate properly for the freezing point depression. And then. Um, actually being able to try to figure out our own special recipe for the freeze dryer. It's a super long process, it takes almost two days to do that. Um, so being able to do that and figuring out all the energy we have to put into that, that's probably about the biggest challenge we've had so far.